the amphitheatre around the 10th green here. Sit back, relax and enjoy. I was trying to break Birkdale. Some good golf being played. Yeah. <laughs> that was ridiculously phenomenal. Oh, it's money. <laughs> To win, that could be a could be yeah. Hole. I think it is slam dunk straight in, called it. Oh, he hit the hole! All right, guys, welcome back to Break 75. I'm somewhere very exciting today, Royal Birkdale, home of many open championships and a true test of golf. I'm in winter at the moment here in the UK, so there's not many golf courses that are as good as this place right now. Now, it's not just me trying to break 75 today, we've got a couple of guests with all slightly different targets. First off, Guy is back after having a little one. Yes. The man is back. Yes, He's Lack got sleep. bloodshot eyes. Yep. And uh, first time you've played golf in what, about seven weeks? So I've not played golf for seven weeks, but I have been the range a lot. And there's been some very good signs. However, we went to the range this morning to practice and I was spraying it. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect, but my goal is not break 75, it's break 80. So we've got break 80, we've got break 75, but we need someone this side of us. And there's only one man for the job, James Robinson. James, how are you, pal? Great, thank you. Now, you've you? seen James from many a video, whether it's trying to break the course record at pastures or whether it's playing with some wacky and unusual golf clubs that I can find to test this ex tour pro who used to play, who did play in the open. But your target say, well, we've set it for you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> we thought we'd, it'd make for a great title and a, and a thumbnail. Your task is to break 70. Fingers crossed. Doable? Uh, I think so. I think so. <laughs> He's so modest. <laughs> if like, like going and shoot 62 and go, that was all right. So <laughs> sit back, enjoy this phenomenal golf course. It's a little bit shorter just because it's winter. It's 6,200 yards. It's bloody freezing. All right. It's absolutely freezing. You guys got driver. Well, I've got two well. iron. Play well. Play well. Play well. Enjoy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I was trying to break Birkdale. Now, I might, I might jinx myself here. I've played this golf course three times. On the first time I birded this hole. On the second time I birded this hole. On the third time I made birdie on this hole. I don't think it's, <laughs> I feel like this hole's gonna bite me now and say, nah, there you go. Good morning, looking for the wind today. That should be all right. Yep. Yeah, right. a bit up the left. Come on, I'll go. I'm sort of nervous. <laughs> Safe start. I wanna know what to beat. So why we're at an open venue, it's only right using open Pro V1, which let's be honest, I'll get lost probably quite soon. Uh, I don't feel confident with this driver off the first tee. I think last time I played this hole, I got double bogey. So if we can beat that, that's a good start. Over that bunker, little baby fade. Oh, it's money. Oh, <laughs> really who is this man? <sighs> I actually think I'm better than James Robinson at golf. I don't think I'm too carried away because it's early, but I actually think I'm going to beat him today. I'd actually take that shot. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, yes. He's here. I'll take that. That's long quite simple. Long as guy. <laughs> That's quite literally perfect. Right, let's go. I mean, what, honestly, this place is so, so good. There's, Going to be quite a bit of maintenance going on, on the golf course again. Start of the year, a lot of courses certainly like this that get so much play during the summer months from not only members but also visitors from overseas. They've obviously used this time to try and make some enhancements to the course. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. It's always in very, very good condition. Super dry and a true test of golf. You know what? I love James Robinson. He's a nice guy. I actually always hate him as well. He's a great golfer, he's good looking, he's a family man, he's the full package. I want to be James Robinson. It's 219 yards into the second, in my second shot into the first hole. I should have it driven like the lads. This is into wind as well. I'm going to try and rocket a four ride and chase it up. If I do continue this birdie streak on this hole, well, I want a plaque putting on that first tee. <laughs> it's a great strike, strike. it's a bit right. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get it on the green from there. 
just left of the pin, near that bunker on the left. Got 162, I'm gonna hit a five iron. Straight into. Oh, it's a bit skinny. Okay, this is my chance to keep the birdie run going on this hole. Little shot over these two bunkers. Loads of green to work with. Okay. Hit it nice. Oh, the shot. Oh, baby. Gave it a chance. We've got a little knock in. Very good, very nice. I know I didn't birdie it. It makes so much sense now. I was using a yellow ball. Like the other three times I was using a white ball. Ah, that's what it is. Silly me. We've got a little look. Tapping par, hopefully. Down, down, down. Tough shot from there, pal. A bit hard. Very tough. A little Lynx bump and run. Low. Whoa. This has got to be, I think this possibly might be the hardest hole we play all day. 432 yards, straight back into wind. And again, kind of like cold temperatures, not making the golf ball travel very far. So I think this, out of all the holes we played today, might be the most demanding, but you never know. 17 more to go after this. Yes. Saves it's it. Practically, it's practically a gimme. To be honest, it looked that way. <laughs> <laughs> Second one, oh, nicely done. Hold the bucket. <laughs> okay, so join the lads and a nice par on the first. Yep, yes. all the way. Well Easy hole. Easy. Easy hole. Level par through one. Okay, second hole. Par four. Wins off the right. Couple of bunkers down the right side you want to be finishing the ball on. Great start to this golf course. These first couple of holes are fantastic. Great shout. Bit of wind. Yeah. Like that. Good ball. Wind. Yeah, that'd be good. Shot. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'll do. Does it ever get boring? Mm, once it did. <laughs> Does it ever get boring just hitting it that straight? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the excitement, James? <laughs> okay, got 180 yards to the flag. I leaked my, I was happy to issue my tee shot, but I leaked it a little bit to the right. So I've lost some distance on these two. They're well ahead of me. So into the wind a little bit off the right. It's going to be a four iron. Tough golf shot this, tough hole, hard golf course. Need to really connect with this one. Struck it really nice, but I don't think that's going to be enough club. Okay, 160 to the pin, into a bitterly cold wind off the right. I'm actually going to try and chip a little six. It'd probably be normally an eight iron. And I think I could muscle a six, but as soon as it starts going up, I think it'd come up short. So I'm going to try and play it safe, left side of the flag, a little six iron. Wind. Wind, carry that bunker. It's going to be short, isn't it? Oh, that Good actually night. might be all right. Towards the flag. Yeah, that actually might work out a okay. 145. Gonna play a little chippy seven iron. Looks good, James. Travel. Needs to go. Yeah, it's all right. Similar spot to mine, I think. Yeah, very close. Hit the flow. Ah, God, that's quick. A bit racy. All right, James up for birdie. Mine and James's finished pretty much next, next to each other, a couple of feet. I Trying just to line, managed mate. to get closer than James, so James is going to go first. Let's crack open the birdie sauce nice and early, James. Oh, that'll be lovely. Warm things up. Ah, it's not Stay enough speed. Up. Not enough speed, weak. Go on, for the first birdie. Go, go, go. Oh, he walked oh. it in. <laughs> he walked it in, well open done. Open that account. <laughs> Crack open the birdie <laughs> sauce. <laughs> right, okay, I'm gonna try and follow him with the par sauce. Well, I got your line then, Rick, it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Stayed up high. 
No, I've pinned it. Pinned the putt. Nice. I found that meme of the uh, darts. I can't speak. I can't <laughs> speak. Okay, third hole, par four. Wind's now back off the left hand side, helping a little bit. As James rightly just said, we were considering what to hit and drive. James went to par four, we hit driver. <laughs> and I, like, I like that strategy. Should be fine. Yeah, it's good. Just in the semi. Yeah, it might just be a little bit blocked out view of the green, but by the way, do you like my hat? Royal. Shirt down. Oh no. It's the worst shot I've ever seen you hit. Pretty bad. <clears throat> and it's 10 yards off the fairway. <laughs> <laughs> good find it. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Ball, that should be fine. So me and James are quite right a little bit in this quite thick rough, but decent lie. About 70 yards to the pin. Can't quite see the flag, so it's a bit of a bit of fluke on this, bit of trust. Come out thin, but that could be good. Sit down. Yeah, yeah nice, great mate. Shot. Uh, just trickling away a little bit, 20 foot. 72, can't see the flag. So we're going to have to give it a little jump. Still can't see it. There we go. Hit the fairways, you can see the flags much easier. Feels good. No idea. Might be a touch right, I'm guessing. Okay, similar distance to James. A little 70 yarder, 50, 60 degree. Three quarter swing. Yeah, pin eye just a bit, a bit too safe, a bit too left. Oh! oh. But, wow. Oh, I thought that was in. Seemed to move really it like was. quick across the hole. Slow down. Ooh, rammed it. Okay, another, well, outside opportunity for birdie up the hill. I'm trying to learn a little bit off the lads and they've hit it quite a bit firmer than possibly they planned. It's good for speed. Oh, oh that had a good look then. A little bit more speed. It's a knee knocker. Put this far away. Yeah, well done, pal. Would have bet <coughs> my house on that. What would you bet on this? <laughs> <laughs> My daughter's I'm, playhouse. I'm great from this range. No. Safe. Never Keep the playhouse. Never doubt me. Very, very good. Okay, par three, fourth <laughs> hole. Um, obviously, normally, off the bat tees, this is a, a long to mid iron. It's actually a little bit shorter to say. 128 yards, pins at the front. But right back into the teeth of this sharp, cold wind. Okay, I'm gonna chip a little eight iron in, three quarter eight iron. Stay left side of the flag. Thin to win. That could be in the could hole. Be in the yeah, hole. I think it is. Slam dunk. Straight in. Called it. Oh! oh! The hole. Hit the hole. Oh, oh, I'm actually going in and come out. Oh my I God. It. <laughs> <laughs> if that would have gone in, that would have been the worst, best hole in one I've ever seen. That was the earliest. So that would have been the most like, I was disappointed. Yes. I, I think if that would have gone in, there would have been lack of celebration. We wouldn't have been good, good, no. like running down the hole. We would have been like, oh, well, that's, that's nice. Yeah, great. <laughs> I can't believe it came out. Thin <laughs> eight irons the shot then. Thin eight irons the one. That's how you go. Stop wind. Stop wind. Oh, you struck it too well. Oh, oh take it. Needed to thin it. It's not in the hole though. <laughs> That's a great golf shot. That's a great I think that did actually go, like, it looked like it went in and out. I think that class is a one. Give you 1.5. No way. A one and a half. Yeah. Two and a half on the bar. No, three and a half on the bar. Strike. Wind. Oh, this is in. Oh no, it's right of it now. Sit down great a bit. Great shot. 
that I will try a bit. Great shot. Great Thank shot. You. Three fantastically struck Take golf that. shots <laughs> <laughs> and three chances for birdie. Right, let's have a look at this. I think looking at the drone footage replay, it actually slammed in and then bounced back out. Oh, it's not even took the sides by the looks of it. it it's a clear, the ball's there. It's just clean. Oh, no damage. In and out. Right, three opportunities for birdie. Let's knock all three in. Guy up first. Roll out. Roll. Oh, I got scared. I got really scared. Oh, that's terrible. Go on, James. Knock it in. Mm. Oh, Up the pace. Straight out. Criminal. There. All right, ball. Let's see if we can keep you down this time. Go, 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 go. Oh. Solid par. I know. I had the line perfect there. <sighs> par. I have to take it. Yeah. Oh. Had a little wobble yeah. there. Oh, no, you. So, fifth hole, par four, drivable. Even off the bat tees, the shorter tee today is definitely drivable. In fact, Ricky Fowler, I played with recently, almost had a hole in one on here last time the Open was here. That, like, ridiculously close. Are you hitting driver still? Or is he trying to play me? I'm just playing the mind games. Shh ready to go. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it's a full a one of these. I think it's a soft driver, cutty driver. Um, yeah, I think it's just a soft little cutty driver. Oh, wow. That's absolutely delivered it. awesome. All over the flag, that. See the long go in the hole. I think it's good. It looked 247. <laughs> oh, a different approach. Slightly left. Get lucky. Is that a shape you're going for? I, I always try and draw it. Not got that shot like you. <laughs> <laughs> that weak little cut. <laughs> okay, not the best start for me, so he's full on the back here. Little little cutty one. Little eagle. Move on to the next. I'll keep it straight. Cut, 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 cut. Cut, ah. cut, cut. Should be alright. Big cut. Just left that brown shed thing, but should be okay. fine. Mound. Short shot from there. Okay, 50 yards into the flag. Not the best lie in this rough, but I'm glad I found it. Need to really kind of get a birdie here, so let's get this one close. Oh, thinned it. Ah! I really want to break my club. I'm not going to break my club, but I feel frustrated. Need to relax. Okay, second shot into this hole. I've actually flirted a little bit with the water. I thought I was banging the line. I'm glad it didn't fade much more. Got a little bunker to contend with, but not, a, not an overly challenging shot. Just a little pitch. Shot. Yeah. Mm, probably played it a bit too up in the sky. I let the wind affect it and I shouldn't have done. Should have kept it a bit lower. We've got to look at birdie though. Slippery downhill. Feed it down there. Down. Use report. Oh, oh snookered. Oh, <laughs> no. I feel bad. Sorry, mate. Oh, that's really nicely played. Great shot, guy. Yeah, it's all I could really do, nice. really, from there. Very nice. So I've moved mine back to where it was. If you're ever confused about the rule, James can't do anything with his, unfortunately. I feel. Uh, Slight, slightly responsible. I should have marked my ball. My bad, sorry. It's fine. Okay. Left to right, down the hill. Oh, try. I know, I thought... Kind of, yeah, I kind of smashed it through the break a little bit there. Solid. Thank you. Oh. Yes! Yeah. Just yeah. enough. James, that was golfing gods oh, helping nice. me out. I'm kind of glad you hold that. I'll be yeah. honest with you. I did feel, I felt bad. Yeah, that was awesome. Well done. Big put this for me. Instead of the ship with a par. That nice. is an awesome Solid up and down. Put. I needed that one. Christ. I needed that one. <laughs> from right up at the top there. Great up and down. Right. James with a birdie. Me and Guy with pars. Scores on the doors. The James is one under. I'm one under. 
guys, two over. Big one. Six hole, par five. Not playing ridiculously long, but doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Slight dog leg peeling to the right. We're hitting straight back into the sun, which we're definitely not complaining about because we've not seen the big bright ball in the sky for a while. Pro V1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looked like it was blocked. Miles right. Yeah, like. Really? Is that yeah. Boring? I didn't see it. Well, I only saw the initial flight. It was going. Tracker like draw. Tracking throughout a bound. It was, it was, it was like one o'clock starting point. Yeah, that'll draw back. Like that is. It's howling out there, isn't it? Okay, driver, trust just the edge of that bunker. That's perfect for me. Is it left? Is Slightly it left? left. Might run out of fairway that on that line. I think it's nice. It's bouncing. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't crush it, so I oh, think if, if it's in the rough, it's just running. That's at, just right at the bunker, cutting. It's fine. Let's go. Sun shining. Quality golf course. Decent, decent company. So, decent tee shot from me and from Rick. Not ideal, but decent. James absolutely bombed one. He knew the line, he went for the tiger line, he pulled it off. I've got 200 yards left in. He will have like 170 max. Bit of breeze into, again. I'm going to go for a four iron up the right side. Quite tough with this ball above feet as well, so really need to focus on strike. I'll just try and connect with something half decent. That was one of the best strikes of my life. Get up. Oh, I'm not going to lie, that was, for me, a 10 out of 10. Eagle chance coming right up. Second chance is par five after a bit more of a conservative tee shot on the left hand side. We've got a lovely view into this green. Pin's playing 220 yards, but it's slightly back into a breeze. I'm going to try and like almost chip a two iron. <clears throat> Land it on the front edge of the green, let it run to the back left flag. Mr. Bunker. Ah, didn't catch it. Bunker short. Ah, bad, bad golf shot that, really bad shot. So after taking the tiger line, which these guys didn't agree with, it's got 174. So I'm just gonna chip a five iron into that wind. Oh, nice thin. That's that might be really good. good. Don't Should tell do the job. Thin. It's a win. Oh, nice shot, mate. Like when a tour pro, ex tour pro, we still tour pro in our eyes, thins it. It's not like when we thin it, it still goes right down the pipe and gives them an eagle chance. Yeah, you're going to be a tour pro for our videos for the rest of your life. You've got a title, <laughs> tour pro. Turned up with a zimmer frame. <laughs> Hold on, let me just take my antibiotics. <laughs> I've got an infection on my hip. <laughs> We're still a tour pro. Still a tour pro. Okay, third shot after finding the bunker after a really weak second shot. Um, quite a big bank and quite a big distance to go, to be fair, as well. So I'm going to do my best to try and get it all the way back there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I honestly can't remember the last time I hit a bunker shot. <laughs> it feels like it's been a while. And that's not for the me that's not meaning that I've not been in any bunkers. I've only really been hitting shots at a driving range. Anyway, <clears throat> let's try and get it back there. <laughs> it like it pitched there. Oh man! <laughs> Welcome to Lynx Golf. Ah, right. This actually hasn't sat particularly very nicely here either. Keep going. Great shot. Yeah, so my four iron actually got on the green, which is good. So I've got an eagle chance. In reality though, I really want to have two putt and get a birdie. That would be really good to help me score. Um, however, there's always a chance for a three putt par. So fingers crossed. It's coming off the left, a big slope. Speak to James before again off camera. He's talking so much about pace, getting the pace close. Just get it inside that kind of dustbin lid, as we say. So. Bit of line off the left, we know that, but just nice pace and get the two put.
pretty much. Yeah. Great point, mate. Very good pace. Yeah, well done, mate. Very saucy. <laughs> nice. Salty. Okay, put for par after that little disaster in the bunker. Go, ah, go, go. Ah, silly six. Back to level par. <laughs> it was inevitable, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Right, for the first what, what, eagle. Do you get eagle sauce? Yeah. What colour is the sauce? Whatever colour you want, my friend. You blue, and it now. blue and orange normally. I like blue. Blue, blue, blue sauce. sauce if it goes in. The first eagle of Break 75 2023. Oh, and you no, it's it weak. Short. Oh, weak. Sorry, we'll save the sauce. It should be. It should be. I'll get, get another. <laughs> wow, love this all. Yeah, I'm, I'm realising that I was wrong with Birkdale. It's sick, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it? I knew it was good. Makes but it, I... makes it birdie. <laughs> <laughs> He's just on his first bird in horse now. <laughs> right, after six holes, the scores are on the doors. I'm now back to level par after that stupid bogey on the last. Bit of anger in that. Yeah, a little bit. Bit of a stupid one. You've uh, made birdie there, so you're back to... I'm one over now, so my goal... Wait, what par is it? It's par 72. So I can be seven over, and I'm now one after six. So fingers crossed, famous last words, it's tracking for break 80. Yeah, you're on track. James? I need to keep going. I'm two under par. Playing all right. Keep going. <laughs> par 72, so if he's two on the par, shoot 70. So yeah, he's got to make, technically he's got to make a birdie. Okay, seventh hole, par three, 140 yards. Slightly elevated tee. Pin, wins off the right, pins on the right. Here you go with James. I'm hitting a nine. Just going to try and hold it on the wind. Maybe a little bit of draw on it. Okay. See if we can get a slam dunk. <laughs> slam dunks are good. <laughs> slam dunk Keep it fun. in the hole this time. <laughs> No, I thought that left. might be a bit too much club. Oh no, it's perfect. Good for yardage. Oh, it's fat. Oh, it's very fat. Travel on the wind. Get very going. fat. Get Back left to the trap. That. Oh, that's Short a bad golf shot. Quality strike. Going for a ride, all right. Sit down. Wow. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, it. Another bunker. <laughs> oh no. Lucky. Welcome to Royal Birkdale. Okay, nice bump and run, kind of a little pitchy bump and run over this bunker. Let's get it within a couple of feet and we'll just knock in the par and we'll move on. Oh, a little bit too much okay, spin. Too soon. Good shot. Okay, I found myself in the back of this bunker. It landed on the green and then with the spin and the wind, it's finished down into the back edge of this bunker. Oh, it's going to be tight, but. Oh my god. Very day. nice shot. Three after that. Three after that. Not easy. Oh, James. It was a good putt. Great run. That was a good putt. A little bit too much pace. Give my birdie straight back to Birkdale. All right, not a lot of breaking this. Pretty straight. Oh, great putt. Insert meme. Oh, I thought I was going to catch enough of it. Ah, unlucky. Go on, James. Never yeah, in well doubt. done, mate. Middle. Never in doubt. Okay, eighth hole, and the Robert, as you'd imagine, is always striving to get better. Therefore, there's got a little maintenance on a couple of the greens, this being one of them. It's actually on a temporary green. Now, to you guys in America, you don't even know what those things are, temporary greens. <laughs> Quite simply, it's a hole in the fairway, short of the green. They use it if they've got a bit of maintenance work on. So that's what we're doing today. It makes the hole shorter, but it typically makes putting a touch harder. It does indeed. Oh, that's just majestic. Yeah, that's... that's... I hope the camera does that shot justice, because that's just nailed. Oh, blocked it. Get it down. Blocky cutty one, that's not good. Yeah, that should be good. Pretty good. Get a little right. Need 
infinite. Hop, skip there. and a jump and that might be there. That might well be there. That looks a decent ball. <laughs> you feel it, there? Oh, I've got it, all right. There you go. <laughs> I've got it, all right. You got it. Um, tight list. No. Pull no. that for a 50p golf ball. Oh, there's one there. Oh, no, yeah, no. Is it? Is it? Is it? Okay, mounting the hazard, so I've taken a drop. Third shot. Bite. Well, that was very hard to actually understand how far away it was. It'd been the winter green, but. We crack on, never mind. Right, after hitting driver, I did think I was going to get there. It must have got snagged up in this rough on the left. James in prime position, he only hit three wood. So I'm a bit confused about how I didn't get there, but never mind. Don't need to worry about that, I need to worry about getting up and down. A temporary green, as I mentioned, so it's like chipping into the fairway. Sometimes hard to predict how it's going to react, how it's going to roll, how it's going to bounce. So a little bit of luck needed here. But I've got a landing spot I'm going for. And let it roll down to the green. Settle down, settle down. Sit. Quick. Thin dip. <laughs> so a little chip and run onto the winter. Try and get some birdies going. Ah, oh, it's way short. Get going, get going, get going. It's done better than I thought. Right, after a pretty horrendous chip, I've got this now for my third. I'm going to put it. Oh, great speed on it, Rick. Yeah, Thanks. probably. Good. Then up, up. It's a good winter. As far as winters go. As winters go, it's not <laughs> yeah. a bad one. It's a good one. <laughs> Some greens in Manchester are like this. <laughs> right, for a birdie. Oh, I'm okay. Didn't break. Ah. Didn't break. Fuming. Easy part. Right. A bogey. Need this one to stop a, obviously a double. Yeah, hold on, mate. Yeah. Okay, for a little sweep off of, for a par. Hold on. Yeah. Solid. Yeah, made it hard work. Got but... two put from down there. <laughs> yeah. Should have put it the sec my second shot. <laughs> Set the scene, James. Kind of trying to work out the line with driver. Straight downwind, 400 yards. Thinking it's like over the middle of this tabletop in front of us, this mound. Blind tee shot, so off memory, I think that's a good line. I don't think you're wrong. Ninth hole, back to the clubhouse. That was perfect, James. Okay, I'm gonna try and chase a two iron down there. Leave myself a slightly longer shot into this green. Should be good. No? A little Wait. bit right, maybe, feel, for an iron. I am okay. okay, okay. That's on the next hole. I feel like it's in the middle of the next hole, yeah. Okay, so mine, rightly so, as James said, wasn't the right line. I thought it was going to be bang on, but it's a bit more to the right in the rough. Guys out to the right, he's fine, safe, not far at all to the flag. James in A1 position, of course he is. He's over the fairway, just over this hill. So I've got 144 yards to go into the flag. You can just see the flag in front of the wonderful clubhouse here at Royal Burtdale. I'm gonna go with a pitching wedge. Wind. Oh, it's gone big. 110 yards to the flag. Going for like a three quarter, 54 degrees. A lot of wind behind it should help it get there. Really could do with a, at worst a par, but I'd love a birdie here, I really would. Is that big? Oh, honestly I thought that was like going in the hole or something, it's huge. So, good tee shot, 89 yards, down off the right, so I'm gonna try and 
nip a lob wedge in there. Battered it, needs to go. Big bounce, run, not so good. On the green. So, mine landed just past the flag and it's clambered down into this horrible little spot. Guy's pitched within just a couple of feet of the flag and his had the same issue. They've both come down into this little fall off area behind the back of the ninth where for the open there'd probably be a big grandstand yeah <laughs> god that was difficult two little tricky shots here back up onto the plateau wind's helping us because it's back into but oof. nearest the pin nearest the pin what do you reckon his chances are uh, on this chip it looks like his chipping's improved a lot so i think quite good into the wind uphill just needs to be aggressive I'm so bad at chipping, I'm so bad at chipping. Without you hitting a shot, you're nearest the <laughs> Oh. Ah. Okay, so this is a big shot, really. I could really do the getting this up and down. I'm currently three over par. To finish the front nine three over would be okay. No, terrible. It's got to go. It's quite downwind, so I thought it'd be rapid. It is. Oh yeah, to be honest, I didn't think he was going to get there. A big putt, this one. Oh, that was in. Oh no. Right, for a bogey. But to finish this front nine, two over par. Come on. Pushed it. Big push. Big push. Oh, silly double on the ninth hole there. Yeah, mate. I was pressing for a birdie. Uh, couldn't have done anything worse, could I? <laughs> yeah, never in doubt. Thank you. What was that front nine, James? Minus two. Two under par, I'm three over. I'm in a slightly uncomfortable position now where I've got to shoot under par on the back nine to break 75. Here we go, back nine, let battle commence. Looks like a good ball. Yep, will do. Yeah, should be a good ball. Good strike. Oh, be good. Yeah, That'd really nice. nice. Well done. Good okay. Got Rick. I've got 74. So, second shot into this par four. Looking at it, from the tee, we could have actually been a lot more aggressive for the green. Um, certainly playing off the slightly forward tees. 74 yards. After seeing guys that just trickle back, I'm gonna try and fly it just past the flag, hopefully. Get there. Good shot, Rick. So a little bit closer, 64 yards. I'm gonna play a little gap wedge. Go ball. That release is good. Oh, too low. Such a bad putt. Go! Go, 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 go. Good roll. Right guys, so while we've got time, let me, <laughs> let's have a look, appreciate the architecture, the amphitheatre around the 10th green here. Right, left side, come on Shields, let's get a birdie, bounce back birdie. Yes, get that sort out. Very nice. 11th hole, par four, slight dog leg left, a few bunkers scatter in the middle of the fairway, left and right, to capture any slightly off-centred hits. Might, from this tee, be able to actually carry those, but it's back into wind. Good strike, that was very good. Just kind of in that bank. I can't tell. Oh dear. Left going left. That's 
the second worst shot I've ever seen you hit. <laughs> They're all coming out today. <laughs> Well, we'll find out if you carry him. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, perfect right, shot. It Sorry, how rude of me. I didn't uh, rate or comment on the halfway house cuisine. I actually went for a beef and tomato soup. I know, quite shocked. New man in 2023. That was mainly because he had no sausage rolls in, but it's definitely warmed me up as this chilly back nine approaches. Get left. All right. Very average that. Okay, I found it, but it's not particularly nice. It's on the side of this sand dune. Uh, 101 yards, straight back into wind. It's gonna be an awkward stance. Ah. Ah. Okay, just go for safety. Right side of the green is the plan. I can hardly get a stance. That was ridiculously phenomenal. <laughs> I got James and Guy saying, oh, nice. They didn't understand the severity of how difficult that was. Okay, so after a big pull left, 82 yards. Looks good. Sit down a bit, maybe. Sit down. Oh, it's good. Like it. Right, James, what have you got in the bag at the moment? So I've got a TSR. Three, uh, three driver, TSR three three wood, TSR three five wood, and T one hundred irons. With everyone always asks about the shafts, KBS dollar taper one twenty five. So it's like a, an S plus that. And then I've got bulky wedges, personalised with a little JR, little up and down logo. Not getting so many up and downs today, but we're trying. Rusty ones. And then Scotty Cameron butter. Uh, it's a new port two that I use. No, so, no. so low and fat, that's pathetic. Okay. After a pretty, even if I say so myself, pretty phenomenal second shot off that bank. We've got a big swing in right to left port. Guys gave me a bit of indication just how severe that swing, that port is going to swing. In. Oh. Yes. yes! Come on! Good buddy. Oh, that far. Really good. Now what? <laughs> I've got a mismatch. <laughs> nice three foot. Okay, a little sweep up for a par. Great foot. Thank you. Par three, twelfth, beautiful little hole. Again, a little bit of maintenance work being done to the bunkers, but it's just such a, I mean, it's a tiny little green. It's very long and thin. How far is the pin, James? One, three, two. Okay. See what you can do? Could be in the maintenance. Ooh, Ooh bunker. Wind, go, go, go. It's like 50 yards short. <laughs> that was nice though. Oh, beautiful. Nice shot, guy. Okay, after a terribly struck wedge shot, I've rolled right back down into the little valley. I can't be the only player because there's a couple of bunkers here, which I probably designed to catch a few guys out. It's got a good little wedge shot up that hill. Lucky mate. Commit to it. That is definitely a part of my game I need to work on this year. Oh. Go a bit. Yeah, good effort, good speed. I should have putted the, <laughs> the first attempt. Ah, I'll get there. So after being very fortunate finding the GUR bunker, it's having a bit of maintenance work. Dropped it here, so see if we can get up and down. A little nippy lob wedge required. Oh, thinned it. Not good. It's catching, it's contagious. Oh. All right, come on guys, show us how it's done on this old pal. Oh, 
Sit. Sit. So, so Back fast. off the green, that. Rapid. But that is what a good player does. Wow. How's that got to there? <laughs> oh out. That was a proper orbit around the cup. Very nice. Oh. Damage limitation. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse than the four, obviously, but oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Come on, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to like laugh or cry. This oh my god. Really That's a four put. <laughs> Double bogey. I've seen world number one do that. So, so guys, like... thanks for watching. We're oh, gonna play 14 no. today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's fine. It's we fine. I've always said this hole is the hardest hole in this golf course. It's a 130 yard par foot. Par that is the three. hardest bit though. We're hitting the green. Hit a great tee shot hole. and then four putted. It's fine. 13 <laughs> shots between <laughs> That's a great drive. Wow. Some venom in that one. Yeah, I'll play that one. Thirteenth hole, famously this where Spieth tried to blow it away back in 2018 or 17 was it? 18 or 17? 17. Where he tried to where he smashed it off the back tee, smashed it over to the right onto the tour trucks. Where he tried to where he smashed it off the back tee, smashed it over to the right. Onto the tour trucks and made an incredible. Team was Noosty. Yes. I know. Yeah, the year after James played in the Open. He didn't know. <laughs> Can you show everyone your ball marker, actually, James? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> this is my moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not that shot. Uh, it's okay, that. It's actually left of that little ditch, isn't it? Yeah. You're right next to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it came out really weird. That came out so weird. Okay, bizarre tee shot. I've been hitting my driver really well all day, but I'll leave this one a little bit to the left into this kind of sand scrape down the left hand side. 160 yards to the front of the green, 180 pin. I'm just going to try and get it up, muscle it up to the front of the green. I've got eight iron. It's going to be an awkward lie. <laughs> oh, should have hit more club. Tried to muscle it there with an eight. Did not work. Third shot into this hole. I'm having a speed. I'm having a speed moment. See if we can get up and down from here. 125 yards. I'm gonna try and finish pin high, slightly right. Oh no. Where are you going, ball? Where are out. you going, ball? Come back. Put <laughs> That's so far right. <laughs> oh, having a mare. Having a mare. So after a nice drive, I've got 114 yards. So we're going to play a little 52. We need to get that shot back. Is that it? Is it the yardage? Nope, it's short. Oh, and it's spun. <laughs> okay, after a bad tee shot, terrible second shot, poor third shot, I've got this across the green on top of a spine put for a four. I actually can't believe that's not broke left. Yeah, good put, mate. All right, Robbo, serious player. As me and Guy have been on, having our adventures on this hole, this is for birdie. 30 footer. It's a very slim chance. Come on, it's about time you brought a bit of a golf game to this video. <laughs> I'll try, mate. Said I hate bogeys. I like bouncing well, back with birdie. <laughs> that was awesome, mate. Thank you. Nice. 
Well, yeah. we're back on track. Yeah, mate. <laughs> all, starts, all starts with positivity. Yeah. Okay, 148, downwind off the right. I'm going to try and hammer a wedge. Oh. Yeah. Couldn't hammer it enough. James That's Robinson. Cool. Is that the third worst shot you've ever seen yet? <laughs> Started getting top five this round, yeah. <laughs> okay, wedge as well. Try and strike it better. Should be there. Certainly got the height. It's on the line as well. Oh, beauty. Lovely shot. Thank you. Oh, that's struck. All over Wind's it. coming nice. This is in. Spin left. Spin left. Oh. Yeah, golf shot. Okay, so again, found another GUR bunker on another par three with another 46 in my hands. So it's not going very well, that club. I think the loft and line must be done on it or something. <laughs> so, faced with a little floppy one now over the bunker, downwind off a tight lie. So, wish me luck. Release. Played it nice, nipped up. Okay, birdie puts for me and Guy. I'm just under the hole, putting uphill. Guy's just past the hole, putting downhill. No, look at that again. Not enough wind. For Birdie to get back to three over par, there's just a handful of holes left. Up the hill, I don't see a lot of break in this. I'm going to go pretty straight. Go, go, go. Oh, just speed. Did it hop a bit? Yeah. In for three. I'll save. Yeah. We'll tidy it up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys, four to go. Current scores on the doors. And four over. To break 75, I've got to shoot two under par from this point. James? I'm two under par. So from this point, so you've, got to shoot, birdie. you've got to shoot one more birdie. Guy? I believe I'm eight over. If that's wrong, we'll put a thing there. But I will also need a birdie. Yes, so, so birdies needed. Par five's coming up. 15th, par five. As you can see, <laughs> we, are, yeah, we as you, as can, you can see, see we can't, can't see. see. We're absolutely straight back into the sun. <laughs> Duck hook left. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Okay. You see? The flat. biggest problem with that, yeah, I saw it is you're almost trying to like, keep an eye on it yourself. Yeah, yeah it was a block cut. Right. Okay, I've seen it down. Yeah, it's not, it might be findable that, not too bad. Yeah, great ball. Draw straight down the sun. Yeah. You're probably one of the best wind players we've ever seen on the channel. What would be some advice you'd give the amateurs about playing in wind? I think with most amateurs, they underestimate how much the wind will affect the shot. I mean, today it's like, it's almost overpowering the slopes, if that makes sense. So it's the main thing that you're thinking of, certainly into the wind. I mean, like 150 yards, I'd normally be hitting like a nine iron, where today I've hit like up to six iron to try and hit that shot. So I'm not necessarily trying to think of it as a new yardage so say 150 into the wind i'm trying to play is like 190 but i'm more thinking of the trajectory that i'm trying to play keeping the flight down and just trying to create a shot and even if it's like a 50 60 percent swing i'm just trying to create that flight that uh bores through the wind and gets me on the green like i'm not trying to force the ball too low i'm generally just one of those guys that clubs up a little bit and tries to smooth it a lot of guys try to force like a pitching wedge too low where it's just easier to get an eight iron and just put a really smooth shorter swing on it just slow that club head speed down so it takes the spin off the ball and then it just cuts through the wind much easier I'm going for a seven iron just try and get it somewhat back into the golf course okay second shot into this par five after tugging my tee shot to the left it's very difficult to see now the sun's dropping fast Bunkers down there are plenty. I'm about 280 yards away from the green, so I'm just gonna. My ideal miss is kind of down that left hand side. I'm gonna try and just draw it from the middle of the fairway down the left, leave myself a full shot in. Yeah, that's pretty all right. That 208 to the flag. 
I'm going to hit a three iron. Going slightly into off the right. Come in. Needs to get left. Not Kick. Not strike at all. Nope, shocking. A little bit short right. 116 yards from the flag. Pitching wedge, three quarter pitching wedge. I'd love to get this one close. We could really do that birdie. This is my time, this is my chance. But let's worst case, let's get the par. Come on, be enough club. Yeah, that shot. Not bad. Okay, 100 yards. Little gap wedge, just keep it. Pin high right is the goal. Come on, Rick. Good shot into this green. Oh, don't go left. Where are you going? It's gone massive left. Ah. So after a poor three iron, I'm gonna try and play a chip and run pitching wedge here. Quite a lot of right to left on this. We need a birdie. Release. It's not Great bad. shot. Okay. Fourth shot into this green. Really need to make something happen here. And that ain't it. That is not it. Drop. Yes! Oh, oh, oh. If it goes in. Monster. Finally. Monster. Finally. Monster. Get that sauce. That's big sauce, that. That is a proper speed. Pick that one out of the hole. <laughs> okay, for par, much needed. Go, go, go. Get in, get in. Yes. Pick that one out of the hole. <laughs> go get that. Oh, scrappy five, but keeps me in the hunt of breaking 75 with two par fives left to go. Come on, James. Yeah, well done, mate. Guess the three under. Three under. Okay, hole number 16. We've got a par four, then two par fives. We're all going to make par birdie eagle, so should be good to, to watch till the end. Great drive. Very nice uh, shot. Wind, just bring it back a little bit more. That's good. And now it's perfect. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's a late draw. Right. Four over. Three to play. Need two birdies. Should be fine. Slightly off to the right in my tee shot, but not a bad approach into this green. 128 yards, slightly back into breeze. Um, I actually lose a bit of control out of this rough. Got to factor that in. A couple of bunkers short right. Oh, God. The safe play is to miss left, but I've kind of got to force a birdie. And you go out the pin, if the wind brings it back to the left, it should be absolutely fine. Oh, it's gone up off the face. Travel a lot, ball. We're on the green, but it kind of sat up a bit too nice on that rough. Spin it a little bit, and you're right. Get up. Yeah, yep. that's fine. It's okay. Pin eye right. Okay, I've got 96 yards uphill, a little bit into off the right. I'm going to use my 46, which we've been an absolute demon with today. Wind. And then sit. Left. Yeah, next to guys, good yeah. shot. Okay, very, very, very long third shot into this. Pin. I don't quite know why I'm lining it up. It's all about distance control here. Up the hill, slightly right to left. Great pace. Simmer. A very good putt. Oh, nice. Yeah, great putt. That could be in. James <laughs> in. Robinson. Very, very good. Well done. Got the line. Thank you. Thank you for the line. Come, mate. Well done. Yes. Boy, don't miss. Back to back. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lovely putt. Mate, good two putt from there. It was a good <laughs> two putt. <laughs> The full length of the green. Because it's so fast, it's like hard to gauge it, isn't it? Two par fives to finish. Four under par. 
three wood off the tee for safety. <laughs> <laughs> Nerves are already rattling. Go on, James, finish strong. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful ball. Lovely. Step one. Mega. We'll take that. I am seven over par, so if I par these last two holes, that'll be a 79, which will break 80, that was the goal. Uh, a birdie and a par would be phenomenal, a birdie and a birdie would be sensational. Oh, it's a bit leaky. A bit leaky. Right, so I need eagle, eagle. No, not quite, but I'm four over par. My mission says to shoot 75, so that, or under 75, so that means I do actually need two birdies on these final two par fives. Uh, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh, that's a bit leaky. Okay. Simmer. Slightly right, buddy. Yeah, it's fine. Good. Yeah, a bit leaky. Shot. Pretty good. It misses all the traps. Yeah, should be good. Go. Stay left as well. Bunkerish. Okay. Second shot into his par five. Famously, when Padraig Harrington won here, he was further back, granted, but off the, off the back tees as well. He hit like a five wood to about two foot and knocked it in for eagle on his way to victory. I've got a bit shorter in today. I've got 175 yards. I'm going to try and smash a seven iron. But I'll tell you what, I would, would not mind a little eagle here now. Come on, it's fine target. Really good golf shot. Get there. Get there. Get there! Straight at it. Lovely shot. Oh, 10 yards short of perfection. It's on the green, we put him for eagle, but that could have got very, very, very close. Probably should have factored in a little bit of colder weather as we're finishing up. We are racing against the time of light a little bit here as well. Thanks to do that. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Thin to win. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so tricky bunker shot now. We have to get very, very cute here. Try and land it right on the top and let it release down. Or oh, running away from me. No green. It's a wide open club face. Great shot. Stay. It's about as well, like, ran away didn't want to so be much, much cuter. Not a bad shot. Okay. An eagle opportunity here on 17. Up the hill, it's then going to fall to the left. Come on, I feel like I've been putting quite nicely all day. Let's see if we can knock one in. And then break hard. Whoa! Sit down, sit down. That was a bit of a misread. Didn't go left, did it? Yep. Yes! Boom! Nice work. Yes! Oh, James Robinson. Ridiculous. A lap of honour. Ridiculous, you. right. I best join you lads, yeah? Come on, Rick. I actually need it for my score. Right, I don't think there's a lot in this. Just slightly falling off the left, downhill. Oh. Yours lips in. Yours lips in. <laughs> Mine lips out. <laughs> hey? How is that fair? Yeah. How is that there? Oh, I need to eagle the last now. Five under, one to play, par five. Been hitting pretty good, so let's try and get one in, in play. Wind's howling off the left. Oh, so good. You've redeemed all those terrible shots you've hit today <laughs> with that one, James. <laughs> okay, so I'm six over, I need to par this or even bogey it to break 80. I'd love to birdie it though. Over that cart path, a little cut, I'm going to use the wind. Whereas James drew it into it, I'm going to kind of fade it with the wind. A bit too much. Right, I need to make eagle. It's about 75. Par five though, we've got a better chance than most. Smash it down the left, let it go. I've not hit, even though I've hit the driver okay today, I've not hit a single fairway. So let's try and finish with a fairway shot. Stay in the fairway. 
Stay in the fairway. I don't, yes. I don't know if it has, you know, still. I think it is. This is what I mean. All day long. I've hit driver okay. I'm like one, two, three, four, five yards off the fairway. Anyway, we're going to make eagle. That's our job. 200 yards back to the pin here. Wind's off the left-hand side, helping a tiny bit. Um, right between clubs. Adrenaline's pumping, though. So I'm going to go one less and try and crush it there. Birdie gets me in at 75. Eagle gets me in at 74, obviously. Simple maths. There's five windows there just left of the flag. I'm going to go on the furthest left window and let the wind bring it back. Come on, Rick. It's finishing style. If it's there, it's good. If it's there, it's good. Go, go, go. Front edge. Front, Front edge. edge. Just shy a little bit. Got to put at it. Got about 201 yards or so to the flag, about 185 to the front. So I'm hitting a five iron, wind's off the left. Let's try and get it up onto the green, or if not on the green, close, and then we can get up and down for birdie. Oh no, it's well right. Oh no. 183, wind up, into off the left. So try and rip a six iron, try and finish with an eagle. Oh, be good. Straight at it. Be good. Be the number. Oh, great short. shot, James. Right. Quite a bit shorter than I hope to be on this final hole. And I'm in that horrible yardage for me. <laughs> in front of the clubhouse. The clubhouse looks busy. Probably having a committee meeting. I'm sure as they're watching or eating the food, they're watching. This video being made, thinking, oh, Rick's going to flick a little, little lob wedge under here and just whoosh, nip it in, grab it next to the pin and knock it in for birdie. That's what you'd think, wouldn't you, right? <laughs> I so wish I could play that shot. Uh, I think I have to put it. Oh, baby, be good. For 74. Go in, go in. Go in. Oh, <laughs> what a great effort. <laughs> great, great putt. <laughs> the clubhouse, they all stand up and applaud. <laughs> the marvellous shot. Ah, so I wish I could chip it one day. Great oh, shot, guy. Oh, player. Filthy shot. Right, for an eagle and to finish seven under par. Oh, it's gone too far right. It's a push. Weak. For a six under. Absolutely phenomenal. Thank Exhibition. You. Thank you very much, guys. Right. For a birdie and to shoot 75 on the nose. Pretty straight, not a lot in it. Oh, such good a good putt again. Try. Ah. Four over. Okay, this is for a, this is a birdie putt. This is for a five over 77. So hopefully I've broke my 80. <laughs> I think <laughs> this is for the 77. Let's knock it in. Yeah, what yeah. an up and down. Nice. But those birdies on the last two for you guys did well. Yes, thank, thank you, you so Val. much. That was great, enjoyed it. Yeah, great. Thanks, James, guys. exhibition awesome. golf. Thanks so much, thank mate. Thank you very much. That guys, thanks class. for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Good luck to James, his brand new role at being head coach at St. Anne's Old Lynx. If you want coaching, go and check out James and Robinson there. Right, thanks Robert Dale. We'll see you soon. And uh, that was 76, 77, 67. 66. 66. I'm not used to saying 60s. Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>